Nowadays, Japanese women are very popular among foreign men. I think Japanese women are beautiful and wonderful, but dating a Japanese woman and marrying one is totally different. Because after getting married and having kids, Japanese women change from cute girls into the boss in the house. We Japanese understand it and can accept it because we are masochists. But for foreigners who don't know that Japanese women evolve like this, it's hard to believe and leaves you unhappy. So today, I'll introduce five reasons why foreigners shouldn't marry Japanese women. After watching this video, you definitely avoid getting married to a Japanese woman. Hi, my Japanese female friends. I'm a comedian. This is a joke. Don't be upset. Mishida jokes about Japan. Hey guys, it's Meshida. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a comedian and I introduce funny Japanese culture. If you are interested in that, please subscribe to my channel and check out my Patreon page. Meshida. After getting married, Japanese women evolve three levels like Pokemon and become ferocious. Before getting married, when you are dating, Japanese women are very cute and kind. This aspect of Japanese women is well known all over the world and fascinates foreign men. When it comes to Pokemon, they are Charmander. They are also cute and we want to hug them. Then, after getting married, they become Charmeleons and their self-assertion becomes stronger. After having kids, they become monsters like Charizard and Breeze Fire. They order their husbands around, and their husbands are afraid to talk back and just obey their orders. Many Japanese middle-aged salarymen go drinking until late at night after working, because in their house, there is a monster. In Western countries, housewives are regarded as unemployed and socially vulnerable, but in Japan, housewife is regarded as a profession and that's employer. Japanese housewives dominate their family and chisel money out of their husbands. In Japan, we still have a slavery system. It is called marriage. In Japan, marriage means a system of slavery between housewives and husbands. In Western countries, married couples are a partnership and the husband and wife both work full time and often have a shared bank account. It's very common. But in Japan, we think that those kinds of married couples are fake. In Japan, traditionally, after marriage, wives manage all the money in the family. Japanese wives are like Yakuza bosses. They see their families as subordinates and force them to pay all their earnings to their family. So, Japanese husbands receive their salary from their official boss and pay it all to their actual boss. And any money left over is spent on hostesses. Nowadays, among married couples, 30% of wives are professional housewives and among double income married couples, 58% are working part-time. So, 70% of Japanese wives are professional housewives or part-timers. I understand that Japanese men are not helpful in parenting, but also Japanese women don't want to work hard after marriage. The OEC reported the world gender gap rankings and unfortunately Japan is ranked 120th. So people in developed countries look down on Japan as a country where women don't have rights. They think if women can be promoted like men and get a good salary even after getting married and having kids, they will be happy. But I think Western people always import their values on us. But Unfortunately, many Japanese women are different. They don't want to work so hard. They want to go to cafes and hang out with their housewife friends using their husband's money. That's Japanese women's happiness. If there is a world housewife power ranking, Japan definitely will be number one. 
Many Western people cannot believe this. Many young Japanese women still want to be housewives. Unfortunately, nowadays in Japan, salaries are low and it's very difficult to find a good husband or wallet. As you already know, I am a poor comedian. My dream is to be a house husband. That's why I need more feminists in Japan. I need their support. Many Japanese women's main purpose in getting married is to have kids and raise them successfully. So their husband is just a tool to help them have babies and protect them. After getting married to a Japanese woman, you are not a boyfriend anymore. You become a husband and have sex to get kids. Then after having kids, you become an ATM. Every month, your wife withdraws all your salary forcibly. You cannot change your password. And instead, you are given an allowance every month. The average allowance fee is 35,000 yen a month in Japan. The percentage they take is unbelievable. You would get better rates investing your money in Russia. If there is a world husband power ranking. Japan will definitely be the worst. You will be ranked the same as the male praying mantis. It says that among Japanese married couples, 61% of men and 64% of women are sexless. So you could say that in Japan, the sexless problem is not a problem. It's a Japanese custom. Because after having kids, we Japanese married couples become a real family. We never act like a couple in front of our kids. And we feel we cannot have sexual relations with a family member. We cannot imagine it. And of course, we cannot have sex with an ATM. Now, I'm 33 years old and most of my friends are married and all of them are afraid of their wives and they obey their wives. Japanese women don't take up a career in society. Instead, they become CEO of their family and force their husbands to be workaholics and control them secretly. Unlike America, Japanese society is not controlled by the deep state. Our society is controlled by housewives or house yakuza. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I upload special content for only Patreon members. So if you want to watch it, please check out my Patreon page. Click the link below. So thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye.